Hi guys, it's Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you my tips and tricks on how to prevent and so acne, period, pimples, the dot pimple, menstrual cycle acne. First tip, I like to cleanse more often. The week leading up to my period, I like to cleanse three times a day and it's morning. Right after I get home, I like to take off my makeup, just wash my face, just give it a break, you know, let it breathe. And then also right before bed. Because around the time of the month, your hormone progesterone actually increases. And what progesterone will do is increase the oil production in your skin. So when you have more oil in your skin, it actually encourages uh, bacteria to grow there. So in turn, creating breakouts. So what you want to do is to cleanse your face properly, exfoliate properly. That leads us to our tip number two. You guys know that I love my acids, BHAs, AHAs. I use that on the regular, but especially leading up to and flows visit. And I feel like it does an amazing job in keeping my skin clear because it helps exfoliate. It sheds dense skin cells. Back then when I never used acids, um, I feel like I'm more prone to my monthly and flow breakouts. But ever since I've used acids, like it's pretty much clear. Tip number three is niacinamide. Now you guys know that I love using niacinamide in my skincare routine, especially around the time of the month, because what it does is it helps regulate sebum. Now sebum is an oily substance that uh, your skin produces. So if around the time of the month your skin produces more oil, then niacinamide can help regulate that. So it really helps with especially people who have combo to oily skin to control that oil production and not let it become breakouts as easily. Tip number four, as much as I love using facial oils for my dry skin, around the time of month, I like to just cut back on the oils and just use a light hand. So if I were to even pick that up and use it then, I would just take one drop and put it on my cheeks and my temples. So like the dry areas on my face and I avoid my T-zone because for me, those are the areas that I tend to break out if I were to break out in like the dot pimples. Also, if you are more oily, the combination side, I would suggest using hyaluronic acid instead of facial oils because you can still hydrate. It adds moisture to your skin without the oiliness. And my fifth tip is to use a powder cleanser. Now, many brands make them now, but my favorite one is the Kinevo Beauty Clear Powder. It comes in a capsule form. And what you do is you dump the uh, powder into your hand. You mix it with water and it becomes this milky cleanser. And it helps to shed dead skin cells and um, just Leaves your skin so soft and smooth. <laughs> I love using it because it really helps keep your skin clear. Tip number six is to use a clay mask, especially for individuals with combination to oily skin. Clay mask is amazing for pulling out gunk, dirt. If you have dry skin though, clay masks may be quite drying for you. So I won't use it on my entire face. I'll just concentrate the clay mask on the T-zone or wherever you usually break out and do that. But if you have oily skin, you're fine. You can apply the clay mask on your entire face. And this last tip makes a huge difference for me and it's to avoid deep fried foods. Because when I eat deep fried foods, my skin produces more oil. How weird is that, right? But it does. So those are all the tips and tricks that I have for preventing and flow pimples. I don't know what to call it. But uh, do share with us your experience and what you like to do in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.